Italian sports car, luxury yacht, more than $1 million spent on fine dining. Life's very good for Democrat Joe Manchin. That is just a small snippet of a new ad coming out against Joe Manchin, dubbing him Maserati Manchin and contrasting the uh, the nice sweet life that he has with his fine dining, his yachts, his cars with that of everyday West Virginians. Take a look at the rest. While West Virginians get stuck with higher prices, smaller paychecks and open borders. Democrat Joe Manchin and his Washington pals are living it up. And West Virginians are getting left in the dust. Tell Maserati Mansion it's time to stand up for West Virginia values. Okay, so I love that. They're pointing out all the different parts of his life that are like, you know, too luxurious, too elegant, the million dollars on fine dining, which does admittedly seem like too much, the the Maserati, the wearing of aviators. Is that is that like a rich man's game or something? I feel like you can get them for $15. But anyway, that is the National Republican Senatorial Committee pointing out some of the issues with Joe Manchin because they don't want him to be reelected. That is of course what he gets for years and years and years of working harder for them than he does for the Democrats. Yeah, of course, the main point here is that all this that he did in the Manchin did in service of the Republican Party and and this is how they repay him because what did you think they were going to be nice to you? Like these guys always talk about it that way. Again, the mainstream media goes along with it like, oh, well, you know, he's uh, reaching out to the right wing and there's a, a, a red state and this is really going to work in this way. He's not antagonizing Republicans. Oh, the Republicans are like, oh, you know what? We don't want the seat in a very red state. We don't want it. We're not going to run against mm -hmm. them. Okay. So, a second point is, there's the constant uneven playing field. So if progressives did this ad against Manchin in a primary, the general reaction would be, how dare you, right? Republicans do it and they're like, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. There's no controversy, no nothing, right? By the way, we're the fairest show in America, that ad is perfectly true. Yeah. Right, so Manchin does have all that stuff, he is corrupt and and you, you know, you didn't need to have a corrupt uh, person who's your Democratic candidate, but we do throughout the country. And then, uh, and by the way, it also prevents Manchin from running against the number one issue uh, for Republicans in West Virginia, which is corruption. Yeah. <laughs> because he himself yeah. is corrupt. 100%. Um, I, the only part that's not true is the weird reference to open borders. First of all, he's in West Virginia. I don't think that's the most important issue. And they're <laughs> definitely not open, you weirdos. But also, no, John, fact check, instant fact check. West Virginia's border is open to Virginia. That's true, okay, okay. a lot of fentanyl flowing across the border. Actually, that's probably that true. That probably is true, but that's, it's coming from West Virginia. That's probably true. The call's coming from inside um, the house. Yeah, okay. so you were right, everything in that ad is true. And it's a not too shabby way of showing how corrupt he is. But as we sort of got into on the damage report this morning, did you notice what they didn't point out? Their goal is to show that Joe Manchin is corrupt. And the way they show that is he eats a lot of shrimp and steak. He has sunglasses, he has a nice car, sure. First of all, it's ridiculous for them to say that they don't support politicians who are rich. All of their candidates are rich, they, they worship at the feet of a billionaire, okay? So let's be clear about that. But did you notice that they didn't talk about like the coal company that he owns and what effect that might have on when he gets involved in climate negotiations? Did you notice that they only talked about his personal possessions? Not about the wealth he's built up, stocks he might have sold with insider information. You'll notice they also didn't point out campaign finance considerations. You can certainly make a very strong case that he is corrupt by talking about all of the people, especially in fossil fossil fuels that have given him money. But you'll notice they didn't talk about that because they can't talk about that because they don't have a problem with that. Yep, and now to the favorite part of the ad for me, uh, the decision to get a British voice actor <laughs> for an ad in West Virginia. I do the guy, Maserati Mansion has caused real problems for the working class of West Virginia, don't you think? These are the populist Republicans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it didn't even occur to them, hey, that's super weird to have a British guy Pretending to connect with the voters of West Virginia because mm -hmm. they're like, oh, dude, I want a brilliant voice. Mm -hmm. Really, really? Okay. Uh, so it would be off to eat caviar after you finished the ad about mansion eating caviar. 
Driving around <laughs> Maserati. At least get like some dude from Essex to call him a manky git or something. Like at least choose like a populist England English person. Or like a guy from with a Scottish background, right? Sure. Because a lot of people in West Virginia get Mel Gibson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although that might resonate, but anyway, a lot of people from West Virginia actually have Scottish backgrounds from mm. their ancestors. So if you guys, should I try a Scottish accent? Oh dear God, <laughs> I'm part Scottish, so I'm ready to be offended. <laughs> no, nah, I'll let it go this time. I'm throwing it back in the water. Yeah. Look at this. There, there you go. Okay, anyway, in the future, perhaps on another show, maybe tomorrow, we can talk about the fact that he teased earlier this week to Chuck Todd that he might run for president. And Chuck Todd took it totally seriously because he's a serious candidate. Joe Manchin could totally get elected president. That is what Chuck Todd, who makes millions of dollars analyzing the news, had his audience think was accurate. And also, he's now pushing for um, an end to the, the payroll cap, uh, the payroll tax cap for Social Security, which is actually interesting. I don't think that's the only thing Joe Manchin wants to do when yeah. it comes to Social Security. But I thought that's interesting. It is interesting. It's also interesting that we are entering the last two years of his term where he would have to worry about reelection. So the first four years he spent giving billions of dollars to the rich. And right as he's going to election, he's like, you know what? Maybe we could increase money going to Social Security if we took just a little mm -hmm. extra tiny 0.01% from the wealthy. Huh, interesting. You found your progressive values. Yeah. What a coincidence. Yeah. Okay. And if we could go to this last graphic, Bernie Sanders was actually saying that we should uh, we should make that change. And you do not often see Manchin and Sanders pushing for the same thing on the same day. So I just wanted to uh, note that for posterity, uh, yeah. if there is a posterity to be noted. Yeah. And this is like uh, Mitch McConnell running in Kentucky, and two weeks before the election, he started. Um, Running ads saying he was in favor of Kentucky's version of Obamacare mm -hmm. after trying to kill Obamacare for year after year after year. Because when they're going to the polls, they know the voters themselves are actually progressive. Yeah. They have to do everything to try to trick them. That's why the next ad that this group's going to run against Manchin is going to have my dad as the voice actor. <laughs> and it's going to say, You have to vote against Manchin right away. Okay. And I think that's going to really resonate mm -hmm. all through all the hollers. Of West Virginia. I prefer that to any attempt at a Scottish accent. Okay. You've nailed that one. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.